What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to tell you why I switched from Royal Purple to AMS Oil. First off, I wanna start off by saying I'm not sponsored by AMS Oil, nor am I sponsored by any other oil manufacturer. I also wanna say I'm not a scientist, I'm not an oil expert. There's plenty of videos out there going over the the deep basics of you know how oil is tested all the additives detergents and things like that that get put into different oils i'm just an average guy so i'm sharing the reasons why i decided to switch now the first time i ever tried a ham's oil was probably actually about four or five years ago when i still had my 2014 mustang gt and like most car enthusiasts i spent a lot of times on internet forums and one of the things i used to search was what was the best type of oil to use if i was going racing or anything like that now at the time, AMS Oil was a very popular brand that different users recommended. There was a huge thread where guys were actually testing their used motor oil to see you know, which ones were kind of holding up better over time. And AMS Oil consistently came in at the top tier of the oils that were tested. So that was the very first experience I ever had with AMS Oil. It was pretty hard to find, unless you wanted to buy it online, you pretty much had to find it at specialty hot rod and parts stores. The big name stores like AutoZone, O'Reilly Auto Parts, they usually won't have any. That's actually another reason why I didn't use AMS Oil while I was in Hawaii. It was just too hard to find. That being said, now that I'm back in the continental US, this stuff's really easy to order online and it ships within like two days. Now one thing I really like about this new AMS Oil Signature Series is it's got up to 25,000 miles or one year of protection. Now that's under normal driving conditions. It does actually say if you have, you know, more extended idling or other more severe conditions it still recommends i believe only up to like 15,000 miles i will point out that i don't ever let my oil go that long in between changes i don't put a whole lot of miles on my car but i still try and change the oil every six months but having that extra buffer zone of you know change intervals is one of the main reasons why i really do like to stick with this ams oil now one of the things I found while doing my research is that oil testing and oil reviews can be some really nerdy stuff. You can find videos comparing, you know, AMS oil to other brands, looking at every single ingredient, you know, the, the amount of those ingredients, the different additives and things like that. I can't pretend to have that kind of experience, so I'm not even going to try. I'm just here to give you guys my thoughts. That being said, I did find a very interesting video that a YouTube channel called Project Farm did, and he did a video comparing Royal Purple to AMS Oil, the same signature series oil, and he had some interesting results. Now he didn't do all the same tests that the labs do, he doesn't pretend to be an oil testing lab, but he still did some tests to show the cold weather performance and the, the wear protection that the two different oils provided. If you wanna check out that video, I'll put a link to it in the description, but basically AMS Oil won out in his tests and while the margins were pretty small, I think it was still interesting to see how well it performed. But one thing I also really wanna say is regardless of whatever you use in your car, if you're using a good full synthetic on a modern car that's always had full synthetic run in it, as long as you're changing your oil at the intervals the manufacturer recommends, you honestly shouldn't have anything to worry about. Mobile One, Valvoline, for Ford, the Motorcraft oil, you know, AMS oil, Redline, whatever you wanna use, you're all gonna have good oils. Just make sure you're using them how you're supposed to. And for those of you that have vehicles with certain oil specifications, AMS oil shows the different types of specs that the oil meets. This one's got specific guidance for GM and Chrysler and a few other things. I know when I still have my Mustang, it was a track package car. It was supposed to use a special 5W50 oil, but AMS oil did eventually come out with their own specialized brand that met those same specs by Ford designed to be used in those cars in heavy long distance racing conditions. The last thing I wanna talk about is cost. Now AMS oil is not cheap. I think it's about a little over 12 bucks a quart for my truck that takes about seven and a half. I always have to buy eight quarts plus the filter. It totals up to be a pretty good amount. That being said, something like Royal Purple or Mobile One, it's really, it's a couple bucks cheaper per quart but in the grand scheme of things, when you think really about all the money we put in these cars, between gas, oil changes, and stuff like that, overall percentage, it's really not a big deal. 
I'm willing to pay that for a little bit nicer oil, something that gives me a little bit of extra protection. That's just my thoughts, guys. I wanna know, what oil do you use? Have you made the switch to AMS oil? Is there a reason you haven't tried it? Do you think it's just one big pyramid scheme? I will say, I do wish AMS oil would sell in major retailers. They have their own reasons for not doing that. That's a subject for a different video, maybe. But now I've gotta change the oil in my truck, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care.